Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be seeing the different features of Ant Desk platform. So Ant Desk is Alice Blue's trading platform and stands for Analyze and Trade. So you can download this platform from the website alicebleuonline.com slash ant. And once you're here in this page, select the Ant Desk button. It'll lead you to the download page. And once you select the download option here, it'll lead you. You can download it directly and install the software on your computer. Now we'll show you how you can use this platform and the different features available in it. So just select the Ant Desk icon that you have installed in your computer. And as you can see here, it'll ask for your client ID and password. So once you enter that in, it'll ask you for your 2FA uh, verification questions and you'll have to answer that. Once you have done that, it'll log in and open the platform. So this is the Ant Desk platform, which is convenient to be used in your computer or your personal laptop or whichever device you wish to use. So the Ant Desk is convenient. You can personalize it to your preference to optimize your trading experience as you prefer. So as we can see that once it has opened it, this is in the default market, market watch page. So here is the order book and here is the page that I have created for this tutorial. So if you would like to create your own default market watch page, you can just go to the file option here and select the create market watch option. And here you can select type in anything you would like and create your own market watch page where you can separately create a, keep an eye on all the stocks that you want to keep a track of so once you have opened a new market watch page click here and you can choose what or what stocks you wish to keep a track of so let's select here you can select the nsc bsc nifty f and o options mcx whether you want normal here we have the equity segments and here we have the stocks so once you have selected you can click the add button here and it will add the stock here into your page if you'd like to select some more stocks you can add in as many as you would like and you can keep going to customize it to your preference Suppose you would like to um, customize it so that you have separate industries with some space in between so as we have, I have some stocks already listed here. Suppose we want to keep the bank stocks separately from the tech stocks. So you can just press the space bar button on your keyboard and it will create this much space. As many times as you press that much space you will get. So suppose we want to separate these and here we have the FMCG sector you can separate it from the automobile industry and you can do this if you'd like to create uh, different market watches for different industries you can do that as I've already shown go to the file and create market watch and you can specify it to each industry as you would prefer now if you'd like to recustomize this in a bit more detail you can go to the view option here and select the user settings so this will give you the user settings and here you can customize it to your preference. So here we have the session expiry time in minutes and the prompt on reconciling, the prompt on alerts for or expert advisor, your admin position settings, NFO or BFO, the quantity or in lots, depending on how you trade, you can select and customize it to your preference. So here we have the sound alerts so that it will inform you and notify when it makes any changes here we have the market watch settings so here we have the options to save the charts in the workspace so this entire workspace that you have you can save this in this as a permanent setting because uh, if you have like a set preference you can save it as it is here we have the save layout on exit and the option to market watch save confirmation on exit so every time you exit the desk the Ant Desk platform, it will ask whether you want to save the workspace as it is. So you can do that. You can change the settings if you would like. Here we have the intraday chart. If you'd like to have minute charts or the number of script counts, 
the market watch tick color suppose you would instead of blue color you would prefer to have green market watch ticking color so you can select the apply and OK and it will change the green color so as it changes the ticks up tick or down tick it will go green or red as it as you have customized if you don't like green you can even go yellow it depends on your personal preference so that was the market watch settings and if you'd like to like change all the settings to default here we have the default setting options so it'll go back to as it was once it started you can add in the indices so here in the top right corner we have the indices list you can add in what indices you would prefer to keep on that list you, if you would like to keep the nifty you can do that if you'd like to add in here you can select the add indices by going here selecting whether you want MCX, NSE or BSE then select the index you want to see here we have the nifty auto and you can add that into the list as you can see it has shown up here and then you can select apply and OK and if we scroll here you can see that the nifty auto has been added and to see some more of the user settings here we have the order window. If you have any special preference for your futures and options product type, if you want it in normal or in MIS, you can do that. The order quantity. If you have any specific order quantity in lots, you can specify those and keep that as your permanent settings. You can change it as you would like. And here we have the cash settings, the CNC or the MIS. Again, here is the order quantity, the NSE disclosed quantity percentage. You can customize all of these things in this platform. Here we also have the chart settings for your styles, your tools, the chart tool thickness, again the uptick, downtick, the chart tools. You can customize all of this to your preference. Next in this page, let's look at some of the buttons here so that you can use it in freedom. So here we have the save workspace. So this workspace as is, you can save it. Once you select the save button, it will open in a window and you can save the workspace. We have the chart settings. If you'd like to look at the new charts, you can select your charts. Suppose select on the stock here, click on the chart and you can specify how you want the chart to appear. So here we have based on the periodicity, the minutes, hours or day, the intervals you would prefer it and the number of days and if you click OK the chart will open separately on the side here so here we have the chart and here again you can customize it here we have the time limit the periodicity of the candle here we have the space the time duration that is and after that we have the types of charts you want to see it in line chart bar chart candle chart candle volume and so on you can choose whichever is convenient for you here we also have all the um, oscillators indicators to help you decide so you can apply all of these onto your chart suppose you would like to see the simple moving average or the moving average convergence divergence once you click that it will show you these options and based on that you can just apply these and here we have the indicator in the bottom here we also have the tools so you can apply all of these tools whether you want Fibonacci retracement Fibonacci arcs ellipse speed lines graph regressions error channels you can use all of these options when you are trading and next let's look at here is the alerts this is for creating alert so you can use this option when you have when you wish to have any specific alerts to be notified to you for some stock so here we can have the profile name you can load the profile select the symbol the time and it will notify you so once you select enable alert it will notify you when the event occurs so here we have the order book if you have made any orders it will show you and if the order has been rejected here as you can see this order has been rejected because there was 
margin is not enough that is not enough cash in the account so you can see all of the order book status here and here we have the trade book so this will show you all of your trade book details your admin position and what positions you are holding and here we have the cash position option so if you make any cash positions you can see all of those in this button if you click this button here and then we have the stock holdings if you have any stocks that you're holding in your portfolio you can check on all of those in this space again this is mainly for you and if you would like to create make an order you can select the buy order or you can also give, use the um, keyboard shortcut that is F1 and F2 you can select the F1 here and this will give you the buy option or the sell option you can cu customize it if you'd like the CNC or the MIS here again based on your preference you can make any buy or sell orders through here or you can just use the keyboard shortcut F1 or F2 you can also make bracket orders cover orders which is shift plus F3 shift plus F4 so you have all shortcuts here to make your trading experience more easy and convenient for you you can check in your positions if you don't have for some reason this is not uh, you cannot see this in your uh, desktop then you can just go to the positions menu here and this will sh show up here we have the funds pay in so you can make the pay in into your account through this platform itself again as you can see the alerts the artificial intelligence you can use all of these when you're making uh, or trading so that's all if you have any doubts with the ant desk platform write a comment and we will try to answer all of your questions if you would like to see any more how-to videos based on this topic please leave a comment and we will make those videos as per your preference Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls and you can learn robot trading software for free.